welcome back. In case you thought I sounded really attractive, surprise. Hello. Um, today we're going to be doing a video about my gear, not really the bike anymore. Uh, so if you want to come over, we'll have a look at what I've been using for the last year. Right. Uh, now, what I've been using past year on my Raju and for the past few months on my Magelli are all made by Spada or Spada, however you say it. So that'll be boots, gloves, jacket. Spada don't do helmets that I'm aware of. Um, but I do have some textile tra trousers as well, but I haven't worn them at all because I'm short, they don't fit. Stop laughing. <coughs> <laughs> uh, so if you want to come in closer, they don't smell. Um, huh? They they smell a bit. Get whiff of that. Ugh. Um, here we have just normal leather gloves. Uh, I've had these since I first started riding. They are manky. They are, you know, they've got a few grazes on them. They're a bit, you know, they're worn in very well though. Um, what I will say about these gloves is, when I bought them, they were 40, 40 pounds sterling. Um, I don't know how much they are now, I don't know what model they are, I don't know where you can buy them, I haven't looked. I've literally done so much preparation for this video, you wouldn't believe. They're the gloves, jazz hands. Um, if we come a bit closer. No, not really. Can't move closer. I don't like this. <laughs> I've got the world's best camera woman here, so if you'd like to... No, there you go. There is Daisy Blaze, so yeah, she's helping me today. So it's not about you. You're damn right. Take the camera back. Um, so I will, I will point out if a thousand CC goes past, a really nice one. So ZX10 R, R1. You know, if that goes by, I will orgasm on camera. You've been warned. Uh, back to the gloves. Uh, obviously, they've got wrist strap and uh, wrist sports up here leather palms uh, they've got sort of it's not it's not um, plastic or anything it's just hard what is this foam I don't know uh, they do stretch really well especially on the wrists and stuff so if you've got big wrists bigger hands you're fine these are size XL and you know what they say about big hands big gloves um, they've got padding on all the fingers They've got uh, a sort of grippy point between your index finger and your thumb, so if you're on the throttle, you don't slip at all, really. Um, I would say don't get them wet, because they're not claimed to be waterproof, and if you do get them wet, you're going to have soggy hands. And it's not nice. Uh, I think that's about it with the gloves. So, moving on. to Spada's boots. Uh, I'll show you this one first, because there is a design flaw, which is this. That's fabric tape, I've put that on there because the lining uh, often gets caught in the zip. These are waterproof, so the zip is a, a lot thicker. I don't know if you can see that there. They've got a uh, sort of leather lining, so they, are, they do catch a bit and they've torn, so I've put that there. Nothing against Spada, I just probably can't dress myself properly. Uh, these are size nine and a half. That Spada specialised in half sizes. So, for those of you with weird webbed or wide feet for flippers, you're fine. Uh, as you can see there, you zo does it zoom in there? Yeah, I've been zooming in with my camera skills. Awesome, so. good camera skills. It says waterproof there. So oh, wait, wait, let it focus. It hasn't focused. I do apologise, viewers. Did yeah. Oh yeah. Here you go. There you go. If you can read that, it says waterproof. If not, take my word for it. Uh, obviously made by Spada, they've got sort of hard, tough plastic on the front. They've got toe pads which can be unsewn and then, but you can buy replacements and sew them back on. Obviously nice and flexible. They've got a few little re reflective strips on that side. Single zip on that side. Uh, now that's that one. This one hasn't fared too well at the moment because as you know, the last bike was a two-stroke, and it had an expansion chamber that was slung under the bike. Uh, I had to repair it one day while out on the road. It got, it was very hot, obviously. I leant against it with my boot, and it's melted some of the plastic to such a degree 
that I had toasty feet. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's just a bit of cosmetic damage. It's not gone through the lining. It's all still tough as nails, so yeah. Uh, the grip on the bottom of these boots, there's a bit of grass on this actually. Um, the grip on the bottom of these boots, it's it's okay. I don't put my feet down very much on the bike, only obviously when you stop. Uh, but it has started to wear a bit, quite a lot on the heels and on the toes. Uh, not, it's it's worn a little bit on the arch where you obviously you're on the pegs, but not a lot. I give the gloves seven out of ten. I give these maybe an eight. They are very good boots. Uh, I would say though they're not they're not as good as sort of icon boots or or Riker boots, you know, proper race boots, then you shouldn't use them for that. These are for more, more me and other people my age, so 16, you know, doing doing your L plates, whatever you need to do. Um, you'll forgive me, I don't know the name of this, I don't know the model, although we can look for it. Uh, Spider's jack textile jacket, There's, this is a size medium, as you can see, you can't see, but yeah, it's medium, take my word for it. Uh, it does come with a removable liner, which I've taken out, because it's hot, actually it's not hot, what, is it October? Yeah. Put the liner back in. Um, yeah. I'm trying to find the model of it. It says Rain Guard. It says Foss Light. No help at all. It says Carbolex. Uh, <laughs> you're a woman, you know things about clothes. What? Any help? You'd be surprised how little I know about. Okay, right, okay. It's a jacket, that's the important thing. Um, what else? So just a quick feature about it. It's got adjustable poppers, so if you've got big arms or small arms, you can adjust them, so, you know, three sizes, so, I think. So that's big, medium, small. So, just adjust those as and when you need to. It's got them further up as well, so it's got them on the forearm, and on the bicep, bicep, so, on there. It's got shoulder vents, so say for example you've got a nice shirt on, you know, you go into a formal occasion, you've got a nice shirt, got your jacket on, don't want to sweat your pits out, open that up, it'll be fine. It's got one vent there, another on the other side, so yeah, they're quite handy. Um, it does have pockets either side. This pocket, right hand side pocket, the zip has buggered, so it doesn't actually close, so um, it's probably just me actually, rather than the jacket. So, uh, obviously, yeah, they are. They, this jacket isn't claimed to be waterproof, but it, it is pretty water retardant up to a point. Stop laughing! That I said retardant. I didn't. I'm not laughing at all. Uh, it's got adjustable straps, so if you're fat, you adjust them as, as you need to, or if you're skinny, you adjust them round so you can pull them tighter on you. If you want to the back. Sort of high density foam back guard, so sort of upper periphery, then lower down your back. You have a sort of, uh, I think it's lower back bum guard sort of thing. It's good. Uh, you can't see it very well, but on here you have two two back vents. So if you're fat and you're old, your back sweats because you've got a hairy ass back. These are for you, my friend. Embrace it. Got elbow pads, high density plastic. They are very, very strong, very tough. They have saved my elbows once. So, thank you, Sparta, for that. Um, they've got high density plastic, again, uh, shoulder pads. So, yeah, I think that's about it for this jacket. Is that it? Got a sort of rotisserie view of said jacket. Isn't that sexy?
This isn't really? just a bog standard Tesco jacket. This is a Sparta jacket. So, yeah. Don't put it on me. Sorry, sorry. They're not here to watch sorry. me. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, so that's the end of the video for today guys, I'll be doing another video on my Shark S600 track helmet. Isn't it nice? Um, so yeah, that'll be the next video, so thanks for watching, see you again soon. Bye bye. Isn't it nice?